Hello, my dear friend. This is Phil again, and very welcome back to my channel. So, the Thirst Zapper is definitely one of the best new toys we have in the current new season. And a lot of people have been asking me whether the bloodied version is better or the anti armor is better. Because the competition between these two legendary effects is always on. It has been always on inside the game for all type of weapons. And today, I'm going to show you which one is better. To be frank, before I do any tests, my knowledge tells me the black version will definitely be better because the huge amount of damage per shot of this gun will neglect most of the armor resistance on the mob inside the game. Before we draw the conclusion, let's do the test. Now first of all, I need to get my anti-armor zapper. Let's see how many tries I need to get it done. Berserk is rubbish. Instigating, well actually instigating for this gun is not too bad because you will always one shot most of the mobs. However, it won't perform well on bosses. Now Milton's is useless. Juggernaut could be good. Milton's again. Please no. Exterminators no. Hunter again no. Troubleshooter, no. Gormans could be good. Berserk again, come on. Janky, who's playing Janky these days? Exterminators, no. Anti armor, hold on. Anti armor with action points replenish. That's a great roll. I mean, that's the 14th roll as I counted. I would say that's average luck compared with good and bad. I'm fairly okay with the result, to be frank. I need to craft another blooded version. Let's see how many tries I need to get a blooded version. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 11, 12, 13, 4, okay, 14, the same amount of try, I got the blood version, okay. So this try is really average, according to my statistic. Let's quickly check which one is better by looking only the damage numbers in the pit boy. Where is my, now here it is. Now this is anti-armor one. The damage is around 1,030. It's not bad at all. And then the blooded one is 1,500, which is about 470 more damage per shot than the anti-armor one. So I would really put my best on the blooded one at this moment. 500 additional damage is too much to be compensated by the armor penetration. Let's start with the level 75 super mutant first. 2,500, wow, that must be a critical shot. 1,700 for a level 75 super mutant with a bloody version. And let's switch to the anti-armor one. And find another level 75 super mutant. There's one. Oh, that's 2,200 critical damage on the level 75 super mutant. And the critical shot of the blooded one on the level 75 super mutant is 2,500 something, which is 300 more than the anti-armor one. Oh, at least we now know in terms of critical shots, the blood one one. Oh, there's another one. That's 1,300 comparing with the 1,700 from a bloody version. Again, bloody version wins. It can produce around 400 extra damage on the super mutant. Now, let's find someone with a much higher resistance and hopefully the armor penetration effect of the anti-armor will deliver a better performance. As Euro, we just pick up the scavengers because they have the highest resistance to both ballistic and energy damage. It's around 3000 if I remember correctly. Now I'm using a blooded one. Let's see how much damage you can cost to this level 50 scavenger. That's 593. Let's try another one. 536. 
Let's switch to the anti-armor one. Oh, there's one. That's 471. Second one. 471. So again, the bloody wind, but the difference is much smaller. It's less than 100 difference. At this point, I can draw a conclusion that the bloody first zapper is actually better than the anti-armor version because the extra 500 additional damage per shot that the bloody version provided. But I would say both of them are still very good so if you are a full HP player then the anti-armor one definitely is the one you want to go for. A blooded player, the blooded version definitely is much better than the anti-armor one. Alright, that's everything for today. I really hope you enjoyed the video and find out what legendary version you want for your own zapper. Please give me a thumb up if you like the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. But until next time, Phil Leggings out.